Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking development in the tech world that could shake up the entire industry. Recently, US authorities canceled the licenses of Intel and Qualcomm for selling advanced chips to Huawei. This means Huawei might not even be able to use Qualcomm's 4G chipsets in its phones, which they've been relying on until now. But guess what? Huawei seems to have already found a way to leap over this hurdle. For those who don't know, Qualcomm is a leading American semiconductor company that's been a major player in providing processors for many smartphones globally. The news that Huawei won't be buying even 4G chips from Qualcomm is a huge deal. Qualcomm's CFO recently confirmed this, and it's a clear sign that Huawei is moving towards complete independence in its chipset supply chain. Huawei's journey to independence hasn't been easy, but it's strategic and necessary. The company has been actively developing its own chipsets, particularly the Karen series, which have powered many of their flagship smartphones. For instance, the Huawei P series showcases the company's prowess in this area. But that's not all. There's something even more important to talk about. SMIC, which has been a key manufacturer for Huawei's Kirin chipsets like the Kirin 9000s and the Kirin 910, has hit a major milestone. According to a new report from Business Korea, SMIC has successfully developed its own 5 nanometer chip production process. This is a significant achievement, especially considering the U.S. export restrictions that have posed substantial challenges. Now let me break this down for you. The 5 nanometer process is a step up from the 7 nanometer process, meaning the chips will be faster and more efficient. What's particularly interesting is that SMIC's 5 nanometer node uses the older deep ultraviolet DUV lithography process instead of the more advanced extreme ultraviolet. EUV technology. While EUV is more cutting edge, achieving a 5 nanometer process with DUV is still a remarkable feat. This advancement is crucial for Huawei. It means we can expect Huawei's upcoming smartphones, like the next Huawei Mate series, to be powered by these new 5 nanometer chips. These devices are said to be significantly faster than both the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and the Huawei P series. Imagine the performance boost in everyday tasks, gaming, and AI applications. This move not only enhances Huawei's product line, but also marks a monumental step in reducing their reliance on US-based technology. So what does this mean for the future of Huawei and the global tech landscape? Well, it's clear that Huawei is positioning itself to be more self-reliant, which could lead to more innovation and competition in the tech industry. It also highlights the increasing capabilities of Chinese tech companies to innovate despite external pressures. But I'm curious, what do you think about this massive achievement by Huawei? Do you believe this will give Huawei a significant edge in the market, or do you think the challenges they face are still too great to overcome? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, the story continues, and I'll be here to keep you updated on all the latest developments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. In just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 77.58mm in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. 
As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.